busy, also known as Little London Home. I'm coming on here today to talk about and share my nursery as we've recently had a baby. Um, and I want to kind of give you a bit of a nursery tour and also kind of share some hints and tips along the way on designing my nursery. First of all, we went for the Mamas and Papas three piece, three piece furniture set called the Flynn Range. And this is the cot bed you can see here. So at the moment, our little baby's sleeping in our room, but obviously when he gets a bit bigger, he'll be transferred into here. Um, the cot is adjustable for the baby at two different heights. Um, and it also transfers into a cot bed, so it can last him until he's four years old. And that's kind of the reason we went for this, because the quality, I think, is really good. And also it's quite long lasting as well. We've also got our baby monitor attached to it. So quite often I can put him in here in the day and I can see him, which is really safe. Moving around, um, the walls, as you can see, it's all very neutral. This is uh, Slate Lime Deep by the Little Green Paint Company. So I wanted a very neutral vibe. I've also kept the room quite simple as well, quite minimalistic. So at the moment, you can just see I've got a couple of shelves in here. Um, just a couple of toys on the floor because one of my big tips for working, you know, designing and renovating a house is I think it's quite important to keep rooms quite minimal for the time being because you will easily fill things with furniture. So for example, I've got this quite big space here in the corner of the room. So I'm hoping to either get a nursing chair in here or eventually some shelving as my baby gets bigger and he includes a lot more toys. So then next, uh, as part of the three piece furniture set, we also got this, uh, chest of drawers which is also a changing table as you can see what i really liked about this is eventually this can come off so it can be lifted off and just be a chest of drawers so at the moment i've got this set up as a changing station uh, what i really liked as well is this separate area so i've got kind of like nappies here cotton wool um which is really handy for changing the day as you kind of got that extra space on the top of the changing table the drawers are really spacious as well so at the top i've kind of got um it's kind of hats here, baby grows, baby vests, um, some bibs and socks. It's really easy just to be able to grab stuff on the go when I'm changing the baby. Then moving on, we have got the rest of the nursery. So I put this fireplace in when we did the house renovation a couple of years ago, which I actually really like in here now. Um, I think the colour scheme also goes with the rest of the, the vibe of the nursery. And then finally, we have got the wardrobe, which is also part of the Flynn three-piece furniture set by Mums and Papas. Uh, the biggest selling point, I think, for me with this was the two hanging rail, so I can fit a lot more clothes in. Um, I also have this in my own wardrobe, so I know how, how handy it is. These are kind of like three to six months I'm using now, and then I've got some bigger clothes here. Um, there's also a really handy big drawer as well for storing things like sheets in it, which has been really useful so far. I wanted something that would be long lasting, that would last us um, a good long time, and I think the Mamas and Papas Flynn range is excellent for that. That's me done for today. I really hope you enjoyed the tour of my nursery. If you have got any questions, feel free to drop me a message. Uh, I hope you enjoyed seeing the nursery, and like I said earlier, my top tips are always don't worry about overfilling a room, especially if you've got a bit of space to work with. Um, but yeah, good luck everyone, and any questions, let me know. Thank you very much.